Hey guys, so I hope this video finds you well. Um, I have, as the title suggests, a big, big haul um, to do for you today. It's quite a lot of stuff sat in front of me. Um, we've been trying to get some more baby stuff together, um, but also Steve had secretly arranged for one of my best friends to come down and stay with us for the weekend um, because I've just been not kind of not feeling down or anything, but um, because I'm so far away from my friends and my family now. Um, I do get a little bit lonely. Um, so Steve had been secretly arranging for Stacy to come and stay with us um, with her boyfriend and oh, it was so much fun. It was such a massive surprise. Um, we were sat having breakfast and they just walked in. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what are you doing here? So um, so we off we went and we went shopping and we went to uh, Bristol for shopping and uh, we did a little bit but um, nothing too bad and she also bought up some presents as well for Baby Blue um, which are lovely and I'm going to share them with you as well and then there's also a few little bits and bobs that I've been buying for myself there's a couple of makeup-y bits and some hair stuff um, basically I'm just going to have to get straight into it because it's going to take so unbelievably long to go through all this. So, uh, the first thing is because you guys know I absolutely love Ryan Reynolds and I realised that they sell, well they've started to do, two guys a girl on a pizza place on DVD. Oh, so much fun. I've never actually sat down and watched this, like the actual um, series, but Steve said um, it is brilliant. So um, we've been really, really enjoying this. So we've got series one, Look how young Ryan Reynolds is. Look at him. Ah, oh. so um, we're halfway through this through series one, and then we also got series two. They're fifteen pound each from HMV. And this has like three discs in it. I think it feels a lot heavier. But still, look how little he is. <laughs> I still love him. I love him. So we started off with them, and then because, as I said, because um, because Stacy and her boyfriend were down, we decided to grab a new game to play. So we grabbed Pointless. Now, if you guys haven't seen Pointless, it is such an amazing game show. It, I love the concept of it. The whole idea is to you're asked a question and you have to find the least obvious answer. Um, so the the one answer that is pointless that has absolutely no points whatsoever. Um, this is incredibly hard. Um, me and Stacey really, really didn't do very well when we were in a team. In fact, I think the boys scored like 30 points and we scored close to like the 400s. That's not good. Um, but I unfortunately don't know anything um, about um, Australian Prime Ministers from 1901. Should have done my homework, really. But I bought that. Anyway kind of random, few randoms in this lot. Um, one of the big things that we have bought for um, for Baby Blue specifically, um, it's not it's not in the box, this box isn't actually all this light. Um, we watch a lot, because we find them quite funny, we watch a lot of the shopping channels, because we find them amazingly hilarious. Most of the things that we watch on there are like, really? No. Uh, and um, there was this one particular thing that we found that really, really caught our eye. And um, it's called the magic bullet and it's basically a food processor um, and it stands around about kind of that tall maybe um, and it's about that thin and you basically you put all of the things that you want to blend into this top section here this bit <laughs> and then you push down on the lid and it grinds it all up um, and you get all of this within that box so there's quite a lot in there you get blades and cups and um, a juice extractor and a full-size blender and shaker tops and all of this. Um, so this was from the JML website, as you can see up here. Up here, that's from JML. So I'll put the link to this below because honestly, even if you don't have children, I especially bought this because I wanted to make my own purees and my own smoothies and stuff. And um, especially when you know he starts to go on to um, when we start weaning and stuff, and we start putting him on um, other things that aren't just milk, um, we can make our own purees for him. And also, you know, this is brilliant because I can make my own smoothies for the mornings um, and we can make cheese sauces and, and muffins and 
guacamole and salsa, fresh, freshly sal freshly done salsa and everything else. So I'll put the link to all of the information for this below, but this is amazing, absolutely incredible. So this is one of our biggest buys that we've done. Um, we are doing the big, big buys at the weekend, so hopefully there'll be another haul coming up for that as well. Um, I absolutely love this as well. Now, Steve found this and he thought that this, I mean, this is gorgeous. Um, it's called a Snuggle Me Sherpa. Um, it's baby um, blanket, but it is a cow. <laughs> um, basically, it's a teddy bear, as it is, or you can undo the Velcro on the bottom and it becomes a pillow, it's quite padded, so there's a pillow there and you can obviously also fold him back up again to make um, to make a comfy comfy cushion See, and the bit that's inside is a massive cow pimp blanket which will go in cot or buggy or on the floor when you just want to lay him, you know, just lay him down or whatever, in the car, in the car seat, um, double sided so it's white and fluffy on one side and cow print on the other. This has got to be the most softest material I have ever felt in my life. This is, I cannot express to you just how soft this is. Um, and I think this was like £14 or something, um, but it's three things in one. As I said, it's, it's a pillow, it's a teddy and it's a blanket all in one. It's amazing plus the softest material in the world. So we've ideally bought that um, for blue um, because it's just so sweet. I'll go through all the kind of, we, we did a big hit um, in Primark for some things for blue. And um, yes, for you, for you, yes. It's kicking away, <laughs> tickling me and trying to put me off while I'm doing this video. Um, so all of the things that I'm about to show you, they're all from Primark. Me and my mum went for a little bit of a spending spree and she bought some of this stuff for us as well. Um, I'll try and remember which bits she bought for us and which bits I bought for, for myself. I think... Give me two seconds. Sorted. Okay. So the things that my parents bought me, I'll, I'll show you the things that, that my mum says nanny and nanny and granddad bought me or bought us for Baby Blue. Um, we started off with this little jacket. Um, and this is, I so said it's all from Primark. This is from age six to nine months. So he'll be, it'll be nice for him to grow into. Um, it's kind of, it's coming up really, really pale blue, but it's not. It's, it's like a grey and slightly bluey off white. Um, but it's coming out really, really bright on here. As you can see, it is fully lined. Um, this was seven pounds. Um, and his little hood's got tiny little ears. I love it. Um, but obviously, as you can see, it's just this little jacket. Um, we didn't want anything. I know that we're, we're obviously having um, a winter baby, but we already have like a big fluffy snow jacket and some, you know, like a snow, an all in one snowsuit type thing. So that would be quite nice when it gets towards the um, spring. Um, out of out of um, winter into spring. Um, it's a really really lightweight material, so it won't be too um, you know too um, kind of warm for him. Um, we've got some little little leggings, little trousers, um, and these again um, these are naught to three months, and these were three pound fifty. And I thought these would be really really nice to bring him home from the hospital in. So these are going to go in the bag when I eventually get around to packing it. And um, but there's two pairs, they're joined together, they come in a set, so as I said, they're both £3.50. Um, and then we also were given um, this suit, now this whole suit um, was was £7, again it's from, it's six to nine months, um, but in this pack you get a baby grow, which is blue and white stripes, nice short sleeves as well, again for when spring and summer, uh, well spring in particular, it comes with a bib, with a little, I think that's supposed to be a dog. It could be a dog or a bear, I'm not quite sure. Um, a little hat, oh, which goes that way. A little blue and white hat. It also comes with, is that it? Oh yeah, and, sorry, and it also comes with um, this baby grow, as um, what's the kind of sleep suit as well. Um, and as you can see, it's got blue stars all over it. And I love the little shoes. <laughs> so cute. So it's got these little, little sleep suit as well, and then you get all of that in a set for £7, so I thought that was really, really, um, it's a good deal. 
for all of that. And the last thing that she bought us was um, actually my favourite thing out of everything we bought all day. Um, this is from naught to six months um, and it was £8. And it's a grow bag. I really, really wanted a grow bag um, because I've heard, obviously, when babies are... Um, they can kick their blankets off, they can shuffle underneath the blankets, and obviously that's not good for them because I don't want them getting cold, and nor do I want them suffocating. So the whole kind of process behind these things is you put them in a long-sleeved um, sleep suit, which I have, um, and then you put them inside the grow bag and you do the zip all the way to the top. Now, baby's head will not go underneath that. Baby's head will not fit in that hole. So... Um, he's not going to go under the covers and suffocate himself, nor is he going to kick his blanket off because there is no bottom to it. So it's all an all-in-one like sleeping bag, basically. Um, and it's got, please read me a story and then I'll go to bed. Because <laughs> if he's anything like his father, he's going to be stubborn. So there are the things that, that my mum um, bought us. And then I bought some stuff for myself as well. Um, for six to nine months, I got two pairs of um, elasticated um, jogging bottoms so um, we've got one set of blue and one set of grey um, and they were um, as I said three um, they 350 did I say yeah 350 for both of those um, we've got two t-shirts as well which are both in a set um, and they were two pound fifty again six to nine months I've started to buy some bigger clothes because I thought it would benefit so this one says, Mummy says, I'm very cute. So it's nice long sleeve, really thin, again, really thin, lightweight t-shirt. And I loved this one. <laughs> so, so, turns into, that quite suits me, actually. There's this little, little, t little shirt as well. Because I can tell you already he's going to be a little monkey because of the way he beats me. Um, these are from 6 to 12 months. Um, and it's a couple of couple of hats, but um, um, kind of not thick woolly ones, but woolly ones nonetheless. Um, and these were, uh, as I said, I think I said did I? two pounds for them. Um, but I am going to be using these when he comes out of the hospital because we are due in January. Um, even though it says six to twelve months, I might try and make them work in some way. I might see if my mum will get the old sewing machine out and make them a little bit smaller. And the last thing, this um, is for three to six months. It costs three pounds, and it's this Tigger shirt. It's a mini sports star. It's playtime, so I thought that would be quite cute for him to wear when we go to family. So that's everything that I have bought, or that me and my mum have bought him. When Stacy came down, um, she bought a big, big pile of stuff for us. Um, I'm so unbelievably, I just can't believe how wonderful all of this is um so she bought us she brought us some sunshades for the car so one with numbers and one with letters on them and this is one thing that was actually i'll take them out of the packet whoa God, they're huge this is one thing that what was actually on our list of things that we wanted to buy um so this one has numbers and this one has letters and as I've just opened them the attachments for the windows have gone uh, flying across the room there's there's one there little sucky pad I don't know where the other one went whoops she bought us a tiny these are so cute tiny little pair of um little shoes again I'll take them out of the packet because these are so cute um they're size naught to two and a half Bubby shoes. Look at whoa! <laughs> They're so small I can't even pick them up. Look at those little booties. Got little bears on them. I love them. Absolutely love them. I'm so I'm so unbelievably thankful. I was looking through all of this stuff and I was like, oh, so cute. And um, we've got a baby hat and some mittens with Winnie the Pooh on them. I have little cuddles. And again, this would be perfect when he comes out of the hospital if those woolly hats don't work. It would be brilliant. Um, we've got a um, baby on board t-shirt for the car. Um, and it says little monster on board. <laughs> so that will be going in the back of Steve's car. She bought us two baby grows. Um, and these um, are from six to nine months. But it doesn't actually 
have a price on them because they're a present. You can see here from Prime Up, this one has Tigger on it. I didn't realise actually until I saw that shirt that um, Prime Up do Disney stuff, so I was quite impressed with that. Um, so we've got this one, and then this one which has Tigger's face is all over it. I love this. Absolutely love those. So we've got that. Um, she also bought us, keeping with the Winnie the Pooh theme, a sing-along um, book and CD set. Um, and the CD has oh, the, it's all the words inside the book, so when he gets a little bit older we can sit and do some music time together. Really, really looking forward to that, and the pictures are really lovely as well. Um, and once I start learning what the songs are, I can sing them myself without the CD. <laughs> and deafen him! <laughs> she bought us a Jungle Book book as well. Um, for when, again, for when he's a little bit older, but the pictures are really, really lovely, and it's Steve's favourite Disney film as well, The Jungle Book, so we're really looking forward to sitting down with him and reading him that as well, plus every child should have Disney, I strongly believe. Um, these, I love these, she got us these to put away for next Christmas, um, because it says, my first Merry Christmas, they're a box of, of books, um, and these... Um, You've got reindeer, penguin, snowman, Santa, polar bear. They're all in there. Um, and they're just little a little box of um, little board books, little stories. So I'll show you the top one. This one's called Stocking. And that's going to fall off. It's little board, board book, story books. So um, because he's going to be born in January, he's going to miss this Christmas. So she's asked me to put them away for her, and then she can, um, I can give, you know, we can give them to him for Christmas next year as his first Christmas stories. Oh. I love the way they're all in this box as well because that's going to be nice and easy to wrap. <laughs> and the other one was um, this one, which is things I say and do. So there's. Thank you, please, sorry, hello, goodbye, share, listen, tidy up. And there's a couple either end, which I can't see what ones they are. Um, oh, I can say please, I can say thank you. There they are. So there's sorry, hello, goodbye, I can share, I can tidy up, I can take turns, I can listen, and I can be quiet. So they're nice things for him to learn um, when he's a little bit older. So we're going to put those away for him as well. And then she also got us this little bear. Um with a blanket. I love this. So cute. <laughs> um, it's got a little baby bear on it. Move that out of the way. It's got, oh look, so cute. Um, and it's got this little really, really soft material um, blanket on it as well. So I'm so unbelievably thankful for everything that, um, that she gave us. I just, I love, I love it. <laughs> it's so, so amazing. So Stacey, if you're watching this, Thank you so much again for everything, and um, Baby Blue is kicking me to say thank you to you. <laughs> Steve went out and bought a couple of bits. Um, as I said, we are going out um, on Sunday to get the big things. So we're going to be getting the buggy, the baby monitor. Um, we're going to be getting the... Um, Oh, I can't think what, uh, like the sterilising, the bottles, everything like that. Um, but while we were out on Sunday, um, on Saturday, sorry, we went shopping with um, Stacey and we basically set each other a challenge that we had to go off and buy something for no more than £5 for the other person. So the boys went off one way, the girls went the other way and we met up. So when Steve came back, he had bought me some baby um, pram clips, which are coming really, really handy when I need to hang up shopping -y things and then he'd also got me some some, some soother holders um, which just clip onto the dummies and then clip onto the clothes so you can't lose them and he got me a packet of dummies as well um, and said that they were did cost over five pound but um, he didn't really care because it was things that we needed so bless him um, and basically the last thing is is that's all the stuff, that's all baby stuff. This is all stuff for me. I went out and I did myself, I did some shopping for myself because I haven't been out and done shopping for me for a while so I thought I would just go, I didn't go really mad, don't worry. Um, bought some more um, of the Dove deodorant. This is the Go Fresh and it's grapefruit and lemongrass and it smells amazing. Um, and the last one I had I think was like the Mandarin or something which was incredible as well. Um, I bought some Sweet Smile Pear and Jasmine. It's one of the new Impulse fragrances. This is incredible. It is so, so nice. Um, 
it just smells so fresh and so summery. So I'm kind of loving the fact that I can still smell the summer, even though obviously it's getting dark and cold and miserable and blech. Um, went into mother care and bought some of the It's Your Body leg and foot cooling spritz, um, which comes in a bottle like this. It's 100 ml. Um, and this is so nice when I get home from work. Um, it's menthol and lemon. Um, and I literally get home from work, get changed, have a um, cup of tea, decaf, decaf, <laughs> cup of tea. And um, then you just spray this on your feet and on your legs. And it's just so unbelievably relaxing. It is wonderful stuff. Um, popped onto the Superdrug website as well and bought two of the um, LV Full Restore Conditioning Replenish um, Spray. Um, because I did have, I did have one of them, and I can't remember for the life of me which one it was. It was like the pearl shine thing um, from L'Oreal. Um, but these were only like ninety nine p, I think, or like one pound fifty. I can't remember how much they were, but they were on sale on the Superdrug website. I know that much. Um, which is just basically a leave-in conditioner, which I thought would be brilliant because my hair's been going really, really weird lately. Um, it's kind of going from greasy to uh, you know really soft to really horrible to lifeless to full of life and. Um, I just wash my hair and then just whack on a little bit of this, spray it into the roots and massage it in. My hair's beautiful again and I love it, so I'd recommend that. Um, and then I also got, um, you guys know I love my face packs and work has been so incredibly stressful recently that I just need to get home and just chill. So I've been um, chilling with white chocolate mousse face masks, these are super drug owned brand. They were four for a pound I think why I got four of them. <laughs> so that is all from um, from various different places, primarily Superdrug. Speaking of Superdrug, I did go in and I did buy some things um, from Boots actually. I got a couple of their leave their um, hydrating hair masks. Um, one in Samphire and Sea Minerals, which looks like this. I think these were two for a pound. Um, and this one in Mango and Papaya, which is a high shine conditioner, which I'm going to use this weekend um, because my parents are coming to stay. And um, as I said, my hair... Oh, sorry. I've got two Mango and Papaya. There must have been three for a pound. Um, as I said, with the state of my hair, I just really wanted to give some life back to it, really. Um, but a few makeup y things. I have been throwing a load of makeup away, things that don't necessarily do anything for my hair anymore. Um, uh, for my hair? You don't put makeup in my hair. I try, I'm going to try actually the Beauty UK, the Full Slash FX Mascara. Um, this is in, I believe, black. I hope it's in black. It doesn't actually say on it what colour it is, which is really quite bad. Should we open it and find out? Let's see. It's black. It's black, it's all good. It's on a really, really um, uh, cute little wand. One of the layered ones, um, so the colour, you know, you can't, I don't know how it works, but. It's black. Yay! Good. <laughs> Panic over there. Um, I also, I was in a mascara mood, so I bought the Big Fake Ultimate Full Slash, Full Slash Effect Mascara. Um, and this one's from Collection 2000. This one is actually in black, it does say on there. Um, and I love the big lash mascara that I got before, but look at the size of the wand. It honestly looks like there's a caterpillar stuffed on there. Um, the one that I used before, which was just the big fake mascara, was honestly one of the best mascaras I'd ever used. So this is their next one. This is the next one in the line. So I thought I'd try that one. I'll let you know how I get on. Um, more of the um, sheer loose powder. I buy a lot of this actually. This is in the colour translucent, which is number two. Just says on there. Um, but I love this powder. It's become one of my favourite powders. Um, and then I also thought I'd um, try um, some stuff from NYC. I thought I bought three things from NYC. I clearly only bought two. I thought I bought three. Oh. Um, so for the, I tried the Smooth Skin Mousse Foundation. It looks like this. Um, this is in the colour Natural Beige, which is 701. And the whole reason I'm trying this is because I'm wondering whether it will be the same as the Dream Matte Mousse um, from... Um, mm. It looks exactly the same, um, but it's like £4 cheaper. So I'm going to try it and see how I get on with it. Um, and see if this is in fact the same thing. And if you guys want, just leave me a comment below and I'll do a comparison if you want me to. Um, I also bought this 
um, eyeshadow palette. It is HD color. It is a quattro eyeshadow. Uh, it's in the color um, 821, which as you can see there, it's called um, New York well, NY Tribute. And the colors are not going to come out because there's a piece of sellotape in the way like this. So really, really pretty if I hold it up to the light. You can see they're all kind of pinks and purples, really girly colours. Um, I'll do a small swatch for them because I've got on so well with NYC colours before. They just go on like that. It's really, really beautiful pearlescent shades. Love them. Um, and they do also come with a tiny brush, but I've just dropped the tiny brush. Right, I've bought the new MUA palette. Um, this is in the colour Undressed. Um, it's very, very similar to the Heaven and Earth palette, which are their naked shades. They're really, really nude, um, nude shades, as you can see. They're very, very similar, um, but this are um, they're pretty nudes and smouldering metallics. And what I love about this one is there's a mini masterclass on the back as well. So it says, load shade 5 onto your brush, pat across the lid. You see there's a little um, kind of way of getting quite a simple but nude smoky eye on the back. Um, and this was £3, I believe. It was... Um, on an introductory offer on the Superdrug website. So if you guys can get hold of this, I'd recommend it. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, only a few more things to go and then I'll stop talking. <laughs> Yay, I can hear you cry. Um, I've bought the collection, um, well, it's not called Collection 2000 anymore, it's just called Collections, the BB Secrets. This is in the color light. And I'm trying to work out what the new, what the difference is. It might just be, um, a new pattern, you know, like a new design, um, but I'm sure, um, maybe I haven't tried the collection BB cream before. But you guys know I love my BB cream, so I'm really, really looking forward to doing this. I will do a review on this one, because I reviewed all the rest of them as well, um, but this one just is just a really light, light shade. It's just there across my hands, you know, obviously you can't really swatch these very well, but Oh, it blends in really, really beautifully. On first impressions, that's really, really lovely. It's gone. <laughs> so um, I shall be doing a review on that one for you. And the last few things are all from Barry M, um, because I haven't bought anything from Barry M for so long, and I just felt like it, to be honest. Um, I don't know why I felt like it. I just did. Basically, um, I bought two of their... I Coal Pencils. Um, I bought this one in black. Um, I'm presuming it's just called black. Um, I will have a look. Um, it's num I bought number 28. Um, oh, that doesn't help at all. I will try and find out if these actually have proper colours. Um, but I bought this one, which is just normal, just in black. Um, really, really soft um, black eyeliner. And then this one, which is in kind of a, a dark... Um, like kind of red brown which is just there next to the black really really beautiful go on really really smoothly haven't actually used them on my eyes yet um, but I'm looking forward to trying those um, and the last thing I got because Barry M was on a three for two and I've heard so many good things about these are the um, jelly high shine nail paints um, I bought this one in shade one jelly nail paint one I will try and find out if that actually has Oh, it does. It's called Blackberry. There we go. Um, so it's this really, really gorgeous dark purple shade. I absolutely love it, and I'm really, really looking forward to trying these out because I've seen the um, I've seen the shots of people that have taken photos after using them, and they look amazing. So um, um, went into H and M, and I bought some um, body splash. It's in the it's in the fragrance English Garden really really love all of this fancy schmancy stuff but it just smells really really refreshing um it's going to go in my bag because even though it is obviously winter kind of autumny winter um the heating is ridiculous at work and i'm just roasting all the time so that would be quite a nice body spritz to calm me you know soothe you know, cool me down um i bought this shirt for three pound now i have this massive fascination with the color yellow recently so i've got this long um, long flowy shirt. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just love the colour yellow at the moment. I don't know why, because I never used to, um, and I have so many yellow shirts. This was seven ninety nine, and it was taken down to £3, although that has £1 written on it, and I don't have a receipt. It went through at £1. Awesome! 
Excellent. That was a pound. This was a pound, this shirt. So it's just yellow, quite long. Um, it's got an elasticated around the, uh, around the kind of bust area. Um, it's got a tiny pathetic little pocket which you'll never use. Um, but I really, really, it just, it, yellow just jumps out at me at the moment. Um, I bought this shirt. This was five pounds. Um, and I love my kind of baggy, kind of neutral shades of shirt. So it says sweet summer on it. I'm aware of the fact it's not summer, but I just wanted something really lightweight to wear around work. Um, we can wear what we like at work. So I just really, really liked this one. Um, it's got this really girly floral design on as well. Really, really lightweight, which I'll wear on top of another shirt. And the last thing, I promise this is the last thing now. This was uh, five pounds. This, I love this. Love this shirt. It's this massive, um, it says, find me backstage on it. Um, it's a really, really huge um, shirt. Um, the sleeves are here. I've got it tangled somehow. So you can see how big it is. <laughs> um, I've tried it on already. It really, really complements the bump quite well as well. Um, but again, I just thought that would be quite nice either for an evening out or just to laze around the house in um, because it's really baggy. It's really big. Um, it just sits really, really nicely. Um, and uh, I'm going to go because I've been talking for so long and showing you all this stuff. Um, I really want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Um, please leave me any comments. You guys know that I love reading your comments. And um, I will talk to you all soon. Take care, guys. Bye.